vice president of the YPHA, YPHA uh, Holy Bible Church of God. We're, we're here to start our 77th convention. And our, with our 77th convention, we're going to start it off with a prayer. Uh, first, before we even go to prayer, let's give uh, honor to our senior bishop and his staff. My pastor, Pastor Willie Bell Jackson, and the one that worked over the top of her, Pastor Galbo, all of the pastors in the Holy Bible Church of God. I would, I will, we will start this off with a prayer from Elder Bullock and go from there to a scripture from Elder Quick and then a song from the course. Heavenly Father, we come to you on this night, God, looking to you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Father, we ask you to look on you, these people of yours, oh God. Lord, you see what we all stand in need of. God, we ask you to grant it unto us, oh God. We thank you, Father, for the many blessings that you bestowed upon us. We thank you, Father, for how you kept us down through the years, oh God. We know that this is another year, God, that you allow us to assemble ourselves together. And God, for that, we are so grateful and we are so thankful for how you kept us and how you yet keeping us alive, God. Lord, we ask you to look on your people tonight, God, the youth of this service, oh God. We ask you to touch every heart, every mind, God, every body and soul, God. Lord God, because we all need you, God. We stand in the need of a blessing. God, we ask you to look on those that are sick and afflicted in their body. God, we know that you is a healer. And God, we ask you to heal right now, God. We know you can, God, and there's nothing too hard for you. God, we ask you to do it for us, God. We ask you to bless the pastor of this church, God. Oh, God, bless all our bishop staff and all our pastor, God. We know that you're able to do it, God. And we praise you for it, Lord. And as we go further into the service, God, we ask you to have your way, God. Fill this temple, God. Fill your house, God, that they'll feel your presence, oh God. Oh God, break every chain, God. Oh God, lift at every burden, oh God. We know you can, God, and we thank you for it, God. We claim it by faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll be coming from 46 Psalms. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. We're going to drop down to 47 song at 1. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord most high is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. God has gone up with his shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises, sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises under the, with understanding. Yes, sir.
a selection from the choir. Now we will have a uh, speech from Erica Smalls. Thank you. My name is Erica Smalls, and I'm come, I come from Clinton Chapel, and the pastor is Bishop Marston. Coronavirus is a new infection that came from Wuhan City in China. The first infections were linked to a live animal market, but the virus is now spreading from person to person. You can catch the coronavirus if you are close in contact by talking, coughing, or sneezing. The symptoms of the coronavirus are fever, cough, sore throat, and headaches. In severe cases, people have difficulty in breathing and deaths can occur. The coronavirus has affected me because I have to constantly wear a mask while I go to different places. It has closed down many schools and due to that, I have to do online learning and homework. When I go to church, I have to social distance and wear a mask. And when I go shopping, I have to wear a mask and social distance. I will be happy when the coronavirus is over. We do thank you for that wonderful and beautiful speech. Now, Deacon Troy, it's time for Deacon, Deacon uh, Troy to, to uh, take up our offering. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen, amen. We give God glory and honor again for another chance to be in the house of God, uh, to worship, to come together as the people of God. You know, right now, praise God, at this time of going and trials and tests of the world, we're happy to uh, even to be online and all this, to know that God is still sustaining and keeping us. So we are here again for a great offering, and always God, when we give, uh, we give in abundance, knowing that who, what purpose we are giving it for. And at the bottom of your screen, as you uh, look at this uh, service on your uh, it's, it's, uh, there's two ways of, of giving that you can uh, give unto the house of God. So uh, always remember that at this time. So let's go down and we have our prayer on the altar. Good our gracious God, we thank you God, always God, uh, for this time of worship to our giving. We will always remember God that you're the great giver. And you allowed us God at this time always, even as time and job uh, like it is, but you give us, glory to God, many blessings. And uh, we give, uh, let us always, God, give from our heart. Give it, God, knowing uh, for much that we are giving and knowing the purpose of our giving to the house of God. Always there's a blessing to give it unto the church. So we ask God blessing over it, praying and that thou would multiply it and keep it and use it for the love keeping of our kingdom. So we ask this in Jesus' name.
that we have received. And we also appreciate the song that was given. Uh, now it's time for us to hear, hear, hear a speech from Carla Thompson. Greetings to the Holy Bible Church of God. This year's school year is going to be diff different. My opinion on all this is it's going to be a lot of changes that we got to get used to. This virus changed the whole world, and it's a lot of differences that the world got to get used to. For me, taking online classes is fine, but I honestly was looking forward to going to high school. I learned better one-on-one -on -one with my teachers in person, and online it's kind of difficult. We have some youth that's going to want to learn and get a education, and some that is going to be lazy and not do nothing. But speaking for me, I want to learn all I can and get a great education where I can do something with my life and be successful. Thank God for the wonderful speech that's given by Kyla Thompson. Now we'll have words from my senior bishop, Bishop Freeman Morris. We want to thank y'all for coming to the YPSJ Sun School Convention. Oh, we, the Lord has been blessing us and the Lord has been good to us. And want y'all to tend to praise the Lord, to give God the praise, because God is worthy to be praised. And we ask you Lord, to just have, let the Lord have his way in this convention. We thank God for every preacher, every pastor. Amen. We enjoy ourselves. God has bought this for, and we give him the praise. And we ask you to attend the center, uh, your donation in so we can have the children to go to um, college this year. And without your support, we can't do it on our own. And we ask you to attend and pray for the convention throughout the week. Thank you for the uh, beautiful message from our senior bishop. Now, it's about time for our word. And the words, they're coming from Deacon Nathan McCoy. So, and I do appreciate everything, everything that you all have done and the attention that you all have, have gave us today. And let's just live by the word and everything will be okay. I know right now that coronavirus and stuff is going on and all that, but all we got to do is pray to God. And first thing you know, with our prayers and stuff, because that's what God want, want us to do, is pray to him and tell him thank you for what he do for us, and everything is going to be okay.
We're grateful for this opportunity to be in our YPHA Sunday School Usher Board Convention by way of social media. We're grateful for all of our staff that make up this great convention and our general superintendent, uh, national president of the Usher Board, and all our people that make up this great convention. Our theme during the convention is this too shall pass. This too shall pass. And we're living in a day and time where a lot is happening and it's the epidemic has affected a lot of people and brought many changes. And we're faced with so many challenges today. And in this world, we're faced with them. Job 14 and 1 says, A man who is born of a woman is short of days and filled with trouble. So we are living in that day and time. But your difficult circumstance do not define you. Your willingness to get back up says a lot more about who you are. For we as believers can rest assured that this too shall pass. I found that this theme, as well as many others, often come through great trials and tribulations. Uh, they create great sin such as trouble don't last always. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. And there's a bright side somewhere, just as many of these phrases are birthed out of trials. So, this too shall pass. And we search this theme and some may say, well, it's in Scripture, but that has some truth to it, but it arrived from a different area. King Saul in his life gave wise men thought in a subtle request. He requested a sentence that would always be true in good times or bad. And this too shall pass was born. And it was a wide choice by Solomon. In his first appearance in Jewish literature in the 19th century, it's said, it's said many times over and over. When you pass the test, is most important. The thing said, this too shall pass. But the greatest word of that phrase is past. And in the 19th century this word was born and it was used time and time again. When you pass the test is the most important part. Everyone goes through difficult times but it's in those 
who push through, who will eventually become successful. Don't give up because this too shall pass. As we look at our vehicle that we drive, the smallest glass is the rear view mirror. So, what's before you is greater than what you pass. In Philippians 3, 13 and 14, it says, Brethren, Paul writing, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, now that's the past, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. He goes on to say that I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling. Now that's before us. Paul sees it very clearly that this too shall pass. And the phrase is a great phrase. According to Rabbi Lisa Rubai, King Solomon was trying to humble his wisest servants. So he asked him to perform a seamlessly impossible task. To find something that did not exist, he requested a magic ring. One that if a sad man wore it, it will make him happy. And if a happy man wore it, he will become sad. The story suggests that the servant could not find anything of such nature. So King Solomon decided upon himself to go to the jury and design a ring with the insignias. In Hebrew saying, Gazea Yahvego, which means this too shall pay. You may not have a ring, but there's a Bible somewhere. Get it. Read it, young people. Deuteronomy 28. The phrase is repeated twice. Acts 2 and 17. It shall come to pass. Isaiah 65 and 24. Also read Ezekiel 12 and 25. Even in this book of Genesis, Parts of the phrase is used. It came to pass. In the Bible we see God reassuring of this hope that he gives us for this life affliction is preparing us over eternal weight of glory beyond all compassion. And our trials do not take away from us. Our trial add to us. For out of great trials and tribulations, we are left with the testimony. And we look not to those things that are unseen, for we rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulations and be constant in prayer. That is the formula.
for this too shall pass. For we know that we are coming up to a time where going back to school and various institutions is being discussed and worked out and it causes a challenge upon our children and college students and parents all of our young adults is seeking education and remember and we're praying that God will be with you and direct your path and don't forget to take your Bible read it for it contains the answer to all life challenges and always pray prayer is the answer there's power in prayer and God hears your prayer and he knows all about it so when circumstances and trials come always remember the phrase that the theme said this too shall pass and God said that he would never leave us nor forsake us so during this YPHA Sunday School Usher Boy Convention we are praying and all our children that we prepare to go back to school and to our various colleges. And we're thanking God for this great convention and trust that you have received something from the Word of God as presented in this YPHA session. And let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we're grateful, Lord, for this opportunity to come, Lord, and to share with the young people and to give them hope, Lord, in times like these and facing different things. And we pray that you will shield and protect them. We know you can, God, and we know you will. You said you will be with us through the dark times and through the good times. You are still there. You never leave us, God. It's good to know that you walk with us and you talk with us. You gave us assurance, Lord, that you will hold us in your hollow of your hand. We pray in God to bless our one that's going back to junior elementary school and high school. We pray in Lord that you shield and protect them, God. We can't be with them always, but you are there, Lord. Wrap your loving arms around them, God, as they face this difficult time. Bless the parents, Lord, that are trying to work and send them back to school and thinking how they are and give the teachers, Lord, the direction to monitor them, God, and help them through this time. And we thank you, Lord, for this great convention and those that are working diligently through social media and all of our secretaries to make this time possible. We love you, Lord, as always. Continue to lead us and guide us as you said you would. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank God for tuning in again. Um, thank God for our service on tonight. Uh, our YPHA's president, Deacon Nathan McCoy, his wonderful words of encouragement uh, to the organization as well as to our youth. We just thank God and appreciate. Uh, also, Thursday night, uh, Mother Marsha and her great words and encouragement to us and our youth. We want to continue to do this uh, as we journey on in our convention. I hope you all are having a great time watching us through virtual church. It's something new to us, but it's not new to the world. So we'll uh, promote it at this time in our convention, especially during this COVID-19 uh, pandemic. 
Be careful, be safe, keep your social distance, wear your mask, uh, sanitize, uh, do what you're uh, supposed to do uh, to keep yourself safe and with the person that's standing six feet from you, hopefully. Um, also, um, let us continue to pray for those that have passed on and gone. Uh, we've had many deaths in our organization as well as our churches, and we want to continue to pray for them. Um, and as, as we journey on uh, through this uh, kingdom work, um, as a way of announcements, before I pray, um, Sunday we will be ending our convention, uh, and yours truly will be the speaker or the preacher or will bring words of, of encouragement. Uh, also, we want to make sure everybody's paying their dues, make sure all the churches are paying their, uh, doing their, have to do their responsibilities, all preachers, all officials, take care of your dues, and, you know, we have a way of you doing it, just watch the line on View Virtual Church. We have a cash app or something available for you uh, to make that happen. Precious Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for uh, this convention and for the, these words. We thank you, God, for just allowing us to continue on and be a blessing to others. And we pray, oh God, that something that's been said or did to help someone along the way as we travel and do kingdom work. We ask you to touch each and every one. Those that are not saved, God, we pray that their heart be pricked until they Come run into the altar, ask them, what must I do to be saved? God, just help us in these last days that we're living in. We realize, Lord, that the sun is almost down and that they, we can't work when, that, when it's dark, but we got to work while it's day. We ask you to continue to pray for our leaders, our senior bishop, and to all our bishop staffs, to our different uh, organizational leaders. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray, amen.